friends, I'm Megan and this is Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, wake up. Our, our friends are here. Jesse, oh, what? What? Oh, hi. Oh, sorry, Megan. I fell asleep. <laughs> I know, but that's okay. You just helped us introduce today's Bible story. Oh, I did? How? Well, in today's Bible story, a young man fell asleep while Paul was preaching and fell out a window. What? How did that happen? Was he okay? Well, now that you are awake, why don't you listen to the story? God sent Paul to the city of Corinth. Paul met a man and his wife, Aquila and Priscilla. Their job was making tents. Paul made tents too. Paul stayed with them and worked with them. On the Sabbath, Paul went to the synagogue to talk to the people who lived in the city. He told them about Jesus. Some of the people believed. Now the church was in Corinth too. Paul and his new friends, Aquila and Priscilla, went to the city of Ephesus. Aquila and Priscilla stayed there, and Paul traveled all around to visit churches. Paul met with believers at the churches and helped them. While Paul traveled, a man named Apollos came to Ephesus. Apollos told people about Jesus. He knew what was true about Jesus, but he did not understand everything. So Aquila and Priscilla taught him more. Then Apollos traveled and taught more people about Jesus. And he told them that Jesus is the Messiah. Paul met with a group of men to eat the Lord's Supper. Paul talked to the group until midnight. While Paul talked, a young man named Eutychus sat in the window. <sighs> He listened to Paul and got very sleepy. Eutychus fell asleep, and he fell right out the window, three stories to the ground. Eutychus was dead, but Paul went to him and put his arms around him, and Eutychus came back to life. Don't worry, Paul said. He is alive now. The believers took Eutychus home, and they were very glad. Now, Paul traveled back toward Ephesus. He asked the church leaders to meet him nearby. Paul told them that God wanted him to go to the city of Jerusalem. I do not know what will happen there, Paul said, but I know there will be trouble. I will be put in prison. But this did not stop Paul. He knew that the most important thing was not having an easy life. The most important thing was to do the work God had for him. I want to tell people the good news about Jesus, he said. The church leaders prayed with Paul and said goodbye. As Paul traveled, he told as many people as he could about Jesus. God changed people's hearts and the church grew. God had called Paul to tell people the good news about Jesus, and Paul wanted to follow God's plan no matter what.